Lesson 6.3a, Modeling Two-Step Equations. We've learned one-step equations can be solved by performing one step, such as using an inverse operation. We have 5x is equal to 30. Because 5x is 5 times some number x, our inverse operation would be division. We divide both sides by this coefficient 5. We get 1x is equal to 6. It makes sense that two-step equations are solved using two steps. We can use two inverse operations. If we have 5x plus 2 is equal to 32, we can start by creating a zero pair here. We have a plus 2, we do a minus 2. That gets rid of this, and on this side we get a 30. Now we have 5x is equal to 30. Our second inverse operation would be dividing both sides by 5. We get x is equal to 6. We can use algebra tiles to model two-step equations. We have an x and a negative x. These represent a positive and negative variable as the coefficient quantities. We have a plus tile that re represents adding 1. We have a minus tile that represents subtracting 1. For 2x plus 3, we have 2x tiles and 3 plus tiles for plus 3. For 2x minus 3, we would have 2x tiles and 3 minus tiles. For negative 2x plus 3, we would have 2 negative x tiles and 3 plus tiles. For negative 2x minus 3, we would have two negative x tiles and three negative tiles. 2x minus 1 is equal to 3 can be modeled with algebra tiles. The 2x is shown with two positive variable tiles. The minus 1 is shown with one negative tile. The is equal to 3 is shown with three positive tiles. We have 2x minus 1 is equal to 3. And the line between them represents the equal sign. Now you can copy and print the tiles from the Joanne School YouTube community post or the Facebook page images or the Twitter page. I'll have them up there. You can also draw them yourself and make your own tiles. Negative 3x plus 2 is equal to negative 7 can be modeled as three negative variable tiles, two plus tiles, and seven minus tiles. For an equation like negative 3x minus 2 is equal to negative 8, it's the same as adding the opposite. Instead of subtracting 2, we can add a negative 2, and it will equal a negative 8. We have negative 3x minus 2 is equal to a negative 8. It's the same as negative 3x plus a negative 2 minus 8. If we take away two of these minus tiles from each side of this line, so we can take away 1, 2 from this side, and we can take away 1, 2, from this side, we have negative 3x is equal to negative 6. If each of these tiles is matched to tiles on the other side, we can see that each negative x tile is equal to two of these tiles. Because that's a negative and these are negatives, it would be a positive 2. x is equal to 2. We had negative 3x minus 2 is equal to negative 8. What we did was we added a positive 2. That created a zero pair and eliminated this. When we add a positive 2 to this side of the equal sign, we get a negative 6. Now, to isolate x to one side, we divide both sides by the coefficient negative 3. We divide by negative 3 here. We divide by negative 3 here. We have the same numerator and denominator. 
So that makes a 1, doesn't it? And here we have negative 6 divided by negative 3. They're both negative, so our quotient is going to be a positive. We get x is equal to 2. Or we could do adding the opposite of adding a negative 2. We do the same thing. We add a negative 2 to both sides of the equation. We get negative 3x is equal to negative 6 because we created a 0 pair here, didn't we? And we eliminated that. We divide both sides by the coefficient, negative 3. That negative sign is going to be used. We have negative 3 on this side and negative 3 on this side that we're dividing by. We get a 1 on this side. We get a 1x because the numerator and denominator are the same. And we have two negatives, so we're going to get a positive. And negative 6 divided by negative 3 is positive 2. We got positive 2 whether we subtracted 2 or added the opposite by adding a negative 2. Subtracting a number is the same as adding its opposite. Subtracting 2 is the same as adding a negative 2. Here we have 2x minus 4 is equal to 2. We have 2x tiles and we have 4 minus tiles and it's equal to 2 positive tiles. If we add a 4 to this side and a 4 to this side, we'll create a 0 pair here and eliminate it. And on this side, we'll get a 6. So we'll have 2x is equal to 6. By adding 4 to this side and adding 4 to this side, these created 0 pairs and eliminated them. So now all we're left with is 2x is equal to 6. We can see that x must be equal to 3. So what we did was we add four tiles to each side of the equal sign because we have a minus four and we create zero pairs on this left side. We see that two x tiles are equal to six. We divide both sides by the coefficient two to solve for the value of x and x is equal to three. The whole thing we're trying to do here is isolate x to one side to find its value. Here we have negative 2x plus 1 is equal to negative 7. If we add one negative tile to each side of the equal sign, we can create a zero pair on this left side and eliminate that plus 1. Now we can see that negative 2x is equal to negative 8. This created a zero pair, so it's gone. Now we have negative 2x is equal to negative 8. We divide both sides by this coefficient, negative 2. On this side, we have the same numerator and denominator, so we make a 1. We have 1x, but we don't have to write the 1. And on this side, we have a negative 8 divided by a negative 2. They're both negative, so our quotient's going to be positive. We have x is equal to 4. We're going to continue on learning about writing two-step equations. We've finished 6.3a for modeling them. Now we're going to be actually writing two-step equations in 6.3b. Just remember when a number is directly next to the variable on its left, that's the coefficient. And it means you're multiplying that coefficient by some unknown number, x or whatever the variable is. And the whole concept that we're trying to learn here is how to use inverse operations to isolate that x to one side of the equation. Whether the variable is on the left side or the right side, we're trying to isolate it to one side so we can find its value. Have a wonderful day. I hope you're doing well. And I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye.